For more than 40 years, Tom Yell could be spotted at Coon Rapids Ballpark sharing tips on hitting, fielding, and life off the field. We found out what impact Tom has left behind as he leaves Coon Rapids dugouts for the last time. And the Cubs are breaking on the field. Tom Yell has come a long way from the kid glued to the TV set, idolizing his beloved Chicago Cubs and rattling off sports cliches made famous by announcer Jack Brickhouse. And he's safe, he beats it out. As a kid, he moved to a Coon Rapids community that shared his love for baseball. We had 150, 250, maybe even at the peak, 300, 300 kids between the ages of 6 and, uh, and 12 that were playing morning baseball. At one time I was playing on four different teams when I was 14 and, and 15 years old. I was even, in, I was, as a ninth grader, I was, I was picked up, I was the first ninth grader picked up to play American Legion baseball in Coon Rapids. It didn't take long for him to pass on his knowledge of the game to others. When I was uh, 13 years old, I started coaching him. I came back as a coach, I was too old to play, so I coached down at uh, my park. I lived down in South Coon, I was off East River Road in Kennedy Park. After his last appearance at Bad Tom's coaching career continued. He took over as the Coon Rapids Legion head coach in 1980, along with Anoka Ramsey Community College in 1987. You go to all these different ballparks, he knows everyone, and he knows how to judge what, how with the momentum of the game and what's going on. He's seen the game change with metal bats and analytics breaking down game strategies, but says more has stayed the same. Fundamentals don't change. But participation has. At one time, Coon Rapids had three little leagues here. And so, you know, and parents, times have changed. I mean, back in, back in the 60s, uh, I would get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I would be out the door at 5.30 down to my buddy's house. Uh, I would eat breakfast down there, and I would show up at noon to watch lunch with Casey. At my, my mom knew I would come, come in to watch, so I'd be home from 12 to 1, eating a sandwich and watching lunch with Casey. Well, let's take a look at what we have for lunch today. 1 o'clock, out to the ball field or someplace again. Got home, had to be home for 6. At 6.30, 6.30, out the door to go, go play, play some more ball in, in our pickup games, and then be home at 9.00. Nobody, adults didn't care. I mean, everybody just kind of just assumed that you're, you're, you're fine. Well, you know, society has changed, and, that's, uh, and that's, that's, that's the big thing. Off the field, Tom spent nearly 40 years writing for the local paper. I took pride in the fact that I was able to become a storyteller. I love doing feature stories and get down to the, the nitty gritty. But with the newspaper business struggling, Tom lost that job about five years ago, and baseball wouldn't quite pay the bills. He says his wife's yarn store kept him on the field. Legion coaching did not bring in any money. Anoka Ramsey brought in something, but nothing certainly you could live on. But my wife, fortunately, her business was going well. And it became quite apparent that we would, we would have to, I would have to pick up something extra. The Yells found something extra, about 400 miles from their Coon Rapids home. My daughter, who lives down in um, Hins Hinsdale, Illinois, which is the western suburb of Chicago, and uh, needed, uh, needed some help with my two grandsons, or our two grandsons, as a, as a nanny. She, and so, why don't you come down and be, be my nanny? My, so, wife got, got a job as a nanny. I'm, old grandpa's gonna come, gonna come along and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna relocate. Files of official win-loss records were lost, but after thousands of games and more than 1,700 wins, Tom is hanging up number 21. I don't dwell on, dwell on personal records, uh, except I just don't dwell on time, and I know it's, you know, it's been, you know, 40, this is year 43, and they said, geez, it's just like yesterday, because I can remember year number one. After announcing that this season would be his last, his current team and former players wanted to recognize our retiring head coach, Tom Yale, after 29 years. Let's give him a hand for that. So that was a tough day. That was, that was absolutely a, one of the toughest days, uh, you know. I haven't admitted, I haven't told these guys yet, and I, I told my wife. Hundreds came to Wintercrest Park as Anoka Ramsey took on Central Lakes for two of Coach Yell's last home games. I called up a few and uh, texted a few, thinking, well, we got to make sure we get, you know, some guys coming. And I was surprised, and, and most of the guys, when I did text them, they all said, oh, yeah, we know about it, we'll be there. So I'm caught, my emotions are, are, are torn between, you know, I can't be doing this. I got to. I, I got to be thinking to get these guys, you know, centered on this game. But yet, uh, after after the ceremony, which was fine. I mean, it was, it was constant parade up to the back of the dugout. You know, guys. Hey, how you? You know, what? You know, shaking my hands. With hundreds of distractions, his Rams stayed focused, winning both games that Sunday. The team leaders that we had this year, you know, recognized that. Hey, hey, the coach is not. 100% here today for the for the first time. 
we got to we got to do it on our own. It was very cool to see all the different guys he's coached throughout the 20 something years he's been here that they still he made such an impact on them to come back. You don't get the respect and all that all those nice things that go with it without the support of so many people. For the most part everyone's life has, has gone great and to me that's what that's what it just you know just made it all worthwhile. Hey, you guys are doing great. I was I was a small part of your life for one, two, two years, and then for the Legion guys, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe three years, maybe four years for some guys. You guys have really picked up the ball, and you guys have made something out of yourselves, and it's it, and that, that makes me proud. Pitching coach Dan Tupper was inspired by Tom's decision. I was disappointed that he was re, was retiring, um, but uh, you know, every, it, I guess there's time for everything, and uh, I felt that uh, that would make I should retire with him. Part of the reason I'm coaching is because I want to coach with Ty with Tom Yell. Uh, if it was a different coach and I didn't respect as much as I do him, I wouldn't do it. Him being there lightens the mood, just gives us something to play for. After advancing to the regional tournament, he closed out his 29th year with one of the Rams' best seasons ever. Such a fantastic final season here that we've, we've had. You know, it's, it's a record, very best, best record ever, I mean, best hitting team ever. Uh, this, we haven't gone this far in five years, that's why I've stayed so long. Knowing that, yes, it could go, it can go awry quickly, uh, but it's when you do overcome it, and you do overcome it the right way, and you do, you do win games, you do something great, those, that, those are the satisfying things. Coach leaves his squad with some final instructions. Baseball encompasses everything that you, all the challenges and things that you will encounter during, during a lifetime the ups and downs and the decisions you have to make. And, and so I just, you know, I hope that they, they can understand that, what they can apply. Uh, I hope that they can, that for, they take from me that they, they, have, they get a satisfaction of doing something, doing it correctly, that there's, there's no cutting corners. In teamwork, uh, you have to rely on one another. And I can't say enough about the people I've met on the baseball field over 43 years whether it's in the college field or whether it's the American Legion field, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're tremendous. And that's, that's where I'm, I'm really gonna miss because it's been my life, it's been my, it's been my, you know, it's been in my heart for a long time. Most of the people I'm gonna miss, whether they're old friends or they're friends I make new them, because I, I just love seeing the passion in their eyes and sharing, sharing the stories and, and, sharing, and sharing what we have in common. We go into these towns here, they know we're, we're a good ball club. But you're, hey, you're a gentleman first, so you be first class butt kickers. We're going to go in there and, and, in a classy way. We're going to, we're going to beat them. And then we shake their hands, say, you know, good game and that type of thing. But we're gonna, we're not we're not going to hold back anything. And they respected us for it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, everyone. Tom says he does hope to coach again after getting settled in Illinois. No replacement at Anoka Ramsey has been announced.